Well, hi there. I hope you've had a really good week. I um, hope you're having a great Sunday today. Um, over the last few weeks, we've been looking at this amazing George Muller story, um, which was really the story of what happened in one man's heart and how uh, what poured out through his life came from something wonderful happening in his heart. And Jesus, too, told an incredible story about the heart, and we began this last week. Um, and this story he told, this parable of the sower, he said to the disciples, if you don't understand this story, you're not going to understand the other things I'm saying to you. And you might say, well, what does this old, ancient story about the sower have to do with my life now? And I would say it has everything to do with your life, everything to do with my life, because it's about what matters. It's about what's going on on the inside. And I don't know if you remember, we began a story last week that huge crowds were coming to hear Jesus speak. Great crowds were pressing in around him. It said there were multitudes, thousands and thousands of people, some coming even from other countries into Israel to hear what Jesus had to say. And the day came when the crowd became so great that Jesus had to get into a boat and then he opens his mouth and he tells this incredible story and he starts by saying, listen, and then he tells the story, you know it a little bit now, how a sower went out to sow and the seed fell onto different types of ground. Some fell on the hard ground um, where there was no soil and the birds came and it got trodden on. Some fell on the rocky soil where there was a little bit, on the rocky ground where there was a little bit of soil and some of the seedlings grew up but then the sun beat down on them and they shriveled up and died. And some fell among the weeds and the weeds overpowered the little seedlings and they died as well, and then some fell on the good soil. And this farmer, Jesus said, was looking for a harvest. And at the end of his message, Jesus did this thing that he doesn't often do. He lifted up his voice and he calls out to them. And he says, if you've got ears, you need to hear what I'm saying. And so the disciples knew that it was an important story, but like we said, they didn't understand it. And they came to him and they said afterwards, please, can you explain this to us? And the first thing he said was that the seed is the word of God. And we talked about the power, the latent power inside God's words and in the book of the Bible. And yesterday I was standing beneath a huge oak tree with Abby. Um, and we talked about how that huge great oak tree, perhaps a hundred foot tall, had come just from one seed from the acorn. How could that little acorn how could a huge hundred foot tree be in that little acorn? Even our natural minds wonder at this and think that can't happen, but it does happen. And it's just a reflection of the power of spiritual words and spiritual things entering our hearts. And we saw last week how some fell on the hard ground. And we talked about this is when our hearts or part of our hearts get hard, when we get have wrong attitudes in us, where we are resentful towards people or we're angry with people or we're selfish and we just want to think about ourselves or we look down on other people and we think they're wrong and we're right all the time. And these things can build up in our hearts. And that's the hard heart. And then the next bit of the story is that some of the some of the um, seed fell onto the stony soil where there was some soil, but there were stones and the little seedlings began to grow up. And then Jesus said the sun beat down on them. And this was a picture, this sun beating down of trial. And Jesus said, when the time of trial comes, when the difficult time comes, he didn't say if they came, he said they will come. And when they come, he said, these ones fall away. In some of the translations, it says that they withdrew from God. They stood aloof from God. Other translations said they gave up. Um, and I was thinking, what did they give up? Um, and when it becomes difficult and hard for us, when things go wrong, when there's a financial situation that's difficult, when there's a crisis in the family, when there's sickness, we can often turn away, turn away and give up trusting in God, give up asking for his help, give up looking to Jesus to be the answer. Um, and this is what Jesus was talking about. And you remember with George Muller, we, we said this thing that in the day of trial, it says in Hebrews, don't harden your heart. In the difficult time, don't turn away from God. And George Muller faced huge trials. Um, he faced financial trials and crises within his family. Um, he faced great sickness at times and e even death. And he, in those times, learnt not to turn away 
but to turn towards God. And so we've encouraged everyone to pray this prayer in July, particularly for Flame and Tribe as well. Um, Ablaze too, we had some feedback from you on this, uh, that we want to pray, God, would you make my heart good soil? Um, and just to encourage Flame to see if you can remember the four types of soil, the hard, the hard path, the stony soil, the weedy soil, and the good soil. See if you can remember the four. So we're just going to pray that prayer now. Oh Lord, we, we come to you again today and we worship you in our hearts and we pray this prayer. Lord, would you make our heart good soil? Lord, could it not be like the hard path? Could it not be like the stony, the stony soil where there's only a little bit, um, a little bit of soil? Father, could you make our hearts into good soil? Even this week, would you work in our hearts? Amen.